It's time now for a little Easton local sports and sports high school football season quickly approaching with the first day of full pad practices in the state of Georgia set for this coming Monday, July 29th. Jaguars continue to get ready for that scrimmage game set for Thursday, August 8th down in Effingham County against the Rebels. That kickoff set for 7.30. That scrimmage just two weeks from tonight. Again, Wayne County will open up the regular season on Friday night, August 16th at home against Glen Academy. On Friday, August 9th at the high school commons area, everyone invited to come out to the annual Wayne County Touchdown Club's barbecue kickoff. Guest speaker will be coach, Wayne County's head football coach John Mooring. He'll preview this season, introduce the Yellow Jacket football team, and high school football right around the corner. 912 Sports Magazine's 2024 football preview is out on shelves in stores, and they list their preseason team. No surprise, Wayne County senior Tavion Wallace. This is one of the linebackers on the team. On defense, again, Tavion recently committed to the University of Arkansas after his senior year with Wayne County. 912 Sports Annual Media Day set for this Saturday, July 27th at Ware County High School from 9 to 12 noon. Coaches and players will be on hand to meet the media, preview the upcoming high school football season. As always, the public's invited. They'll have coffee and donuts that morning at 8.30 a.m. Again, the 10th annual 912 Sports Magazine's media event day set for this Saturday at Ware County High School. And Ware County High School located at 700 Victory Drive in Waycross, Georgia. Varsity girls softball season quickly approaching. They have a scrimmage among themselves today at 10 a.m. At the Barber Struck Off Softball Field, have a scrimmage against Effingham County on Thursday, August 1st at 5 p.m. in Springfield. Then the first home broadcast will be Wednesday, August 7th on the host Richmond Hill. Game time that day, 5.30 p.m. Atlanta Braves were scheduled for a doubleheader yesterday, but the night game was rained out. Be made up at a later date. Braves dropped the day game to Cincinnati by the final score of 9-4. to Braves currently 54-46, and but nine games behind the Phillies in the NL East. Braves currently hold a wild card spot, but the injuries are piling up and lost Ozzy Albies for six to eight weeks. Trade deadline quickly approaching. Braves are expected to be buyers. Always a fun time of the baseball season to see which players are on the move. Braves are in New York tonight taking on the New York Mets, who just swept the Yankees in a four-game series. First pitch tonight in New York, 7-10. All the action right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5 FM. Wayne County Recreation Department currently signing kids up for football, cheerleading, and soccer. That runs up until August the 12th. Cost is $40 per child. To sign your child up, simply stop by the Rec Department on Henson Mosley Road or call the Rec Department at 912-427-5915. Once again, registration now open up until August the 12th. The Wayne County Men's Golf Association Pine Forest Country Club hosting the 2024 OA Hunter Golf Tournament. It's a two-person scramble and best ball format, 27-hole one-day event, Saturday, August 3rd, 8.30 a.m. shotgun start. And this tournament raises money for their annual scholarship that they hand out each year. And if you'd like to sign your team up, contact the Pro Shop at 912-427-6505. Once again, two-person teams. The date Saturday, August 3rd, 8.30 a.m. shotgun start. Cost is $220 per team. Finally, in sports, the Summer Olympics in Paris have to begin opening ceremony scheduled for tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. NBA legend LeBron James has been chosen to carry the American flag and lead the procession of U.S. athletes into the stadium. NBA All-Stars hoping to win gold in Paris, hoping to get Kevin Durant back as he's been nursing a calf injury. Coach Steve Kerr says they hope to have him back when the games begin. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.